Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Uh, this is my second piece for Inktober. I'm doing one a week instead of one a day. Um, this is a witch who is brewing up a potion, and I had a lot of fun setting the scene for her and thinking of all the little stuff that she would have around her. Um, I low-key wish this was like my kitchen because I love this aesthetic. I love that kind of apothecary uh, vibe that, that she's got going on. Um, so this video is very, very long, and I apologize for that. Um, I I sped it up to 700% already and took out a lot of the stuff that didn't seem interesting at all. Um, and it is still a very, very long video. So hopefully that's not a problem. I don't know how to really remedy that other than uh, paint faster. <laughs> um but a couple of the things that I took out were the initial sketches. Um, I did the first sketch on my iPad and uh, I did the under sketch on this before I started inking. Um, so if that's something that you would be interested in seeing, I would be happy to post time lapses of both of those. Um, but I just didn't want to include the footage in this because it seemed redundant and um, it's inktober, not sketchtober. So... Um, just let me know in the comments if that's something that you want to see and I will post it. Other than that, the process was pretty straightforward. I did my sketches and um, I just taped a border around because I thought it would look nice. Um, and I used a Micron, um, I think it was 0 0.005 millimeters pen to just ink her the witch um I didn't want to do the entire thing because I like the thought that she as the focal point is the most crisp um she's also the most saturated and has the most contrast so she stands out against everything else um which I thought was very important given that everything is gray um one of the challenges that I ran into was not making everything like the same tone, but also not making everything too contrasted because then it would be busy. So um, I don't usually do scenes like this. So it was a bit of a learning curve for me. And I think that's maybe why it took so long. Um, I tend to be tentative in my laying down of color. I go too light and then I have to go back seven times and darken it because I can't just jump into something, which is probably good. I, I would have ruined it if I just went like straight for black. Um, so that was one of the challenges, um, making sure everything is clear. And um, also the steam or the smoke that's coming out of the cauldron was a challenge for me. And the lighting, I tried to make it seem that her face was being lit from the bottom and um, I didn't use a reference really for any of this, and I probably should have. Um, I would have liked to have the lighting come out a little more clear, and um, yeah, there are just some things that I think are a little wonky, but all in all, I think it's pretty fun. I had a lot of fun on this piece, and I think I want to do some more like it, um, maybe just a series of witches or a series of the same witch doing you know different witchy things um it's such a fun theme there's so many things that you can do with it uh and in my initial sketch of this one um there was a little more in the scene and I had a cat on the table that was playing with one of the bottles and I didn't include that because I accidentally drew the cauldron too big, which means everything else kind of wound up being too big and there wasn't room for it. Um, so I think I might just, just do a little series of like witchy cats uh, as one of the weeks. So like instead of doing one in a week, I'll do maybe three uh, more simple ones. So um, if that's something that you would be interested in seeing, let me know. And if you have any suggestions of Inktober pieces, um, 
or any art in general, you know, after October, I'm still going to be painting. So, um, pop those down below and I will try to get to it. If you've got any fun ideas, I'd love to hear them. So that's kind of all I have to say. I don't really have any, uh, any interesting things to tell you about this piece other than it was really fun and I want to do more of it. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, as long as it is, feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> I will not be offended at all. I promise. I know it's a really long video, but it's hard to know what to cut out and what to keep. Um, you never know what somebody else might think is important. So, uh, yeah. So that's it for me. I hope that you enjoy this video. And if you did, I would so appreciate you giving it a like. Um, it really lets me know that I'm doing a good job and that you're liking what I'm posting, which means a lot to me. So um, give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, then please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, I think I'm up to 15 subscribers, which is actually really exciting for me. So, <laughs> you know, make it 16. That would be that would be really cool. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I would love to hear from you in the comments or see you over on my Instagram. It's a uh, Pisces Prince by Aaron. Pop over. Say hi. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.
Thank you.